Hey there, summer enthusiasts. Welcome to Mikasa's channel and to the second episode of Say It Saturday. If you're tuning in, you're probably trying to enhance your English skills or just curious about the quirky ways we use summer references in everyday language. So buckle up, I'm going to walk you through 10 sizzling summer idioms that will not only spice up your language, but also help you sound like a native speaker. First up, dog days of summer. This phrase isn't about our furry friends, but refers to the hottest days of the summer season. When you hear someone say, we're in the dog days now, you know it's time to crank up that air conditioner. Next, beat the heat. It's pretty straightforward, right? When it's scorching outside and you find any way possible to stay cool, you're trying to beat the heat. Whether it's sipping chilled lemonade or diving into a pool, that's what beating the heat is all about. Now, have you ever been hot under the collar? This doesn't mean your neck is literally warm. Instead, it means to be angry or agitated, like when your ice cream melts before you even get a taste. Totally hot under the collar moment. Moving on to in the heat of the moment. This idiom describes those times when emotions run high and people act on impulse rather than thinking things through. Ever impulsively bought sunglasses at a beachside stall? That's in the heat of the moment for you. Like a cat on a hot tin roof? Isn't that a funny image? This phrase describes someone who is extremely nervous or jumpy. Imagine sitting at the edge of your seat during a thrilling summer blockbuster. That's exactly it. Ever taken a shine to something? This idiom means to start liking someone or something a lot. It could be a summer fling or that new pair of flip-flops you just can't stop wearing. One of my favorites, soak up the sun. This one's easy. It means to enjoy lying outside in the sunshine. It's what summer's all about, getting that vitamin D and feeling the warm sun on your skin. Make hay while the sun shines, a classic. This means to make the best of a good situation while it lasts, like finishing up work early to enjoy a sunny afternoon in the park. Sun-drenched, a lovely term, isn't it? It's used to describe a place that receives a lot of sunlight. Think of beaches, open meadows, or a lovely patch in your backyard. And finally, full of hot air. This doesn't have much to do with summer weather, but rather describes someone who talks a lot, but doesn't really say anything meaningful. Sort of like that friend who keeps promising to host a barbecue, but never does. There you have it. 10 summer idioms to add a little flavor to your conversations and maybe impress some of your friends with your knowledge of English phrases. Stay cool and keep learning. And remember, every idiom you learn is a step closer to mastery of this vibrant language. Catch you in the next one. Bye.